Hello guys, this is Alfric. Uh, we wanted to prepare some uh, show match game between our top players. Uh, this is a uh, firstly I want to say uh, a clan show match, uh, a clan named Team Destiny TD. Uh, as you all may know, uh, we participate in good leagues like AC Cup Clan League, um, BW ML, BW CL, uh, things like that. Uh, Okay, let me introduce you to uh, our players. There are lots of observers, though it may lack, but uh, never mind. Uh, okay, uh, as you see here, not a load one uh, as a Protoss. He's a Bulgarian gamer, B, le B level, uh, pretty good player actually. Uh, he has a good micro and a good sense of uh, game. And as we see here, the one of our Korean players, Taeyang, he's a minus level Zerg. He's really good uh, I mean really really good he uh, as you all know about Koreans uh, they know about this game you know they love this game uh, okay uh, we will wait for oh okay we see Protoss doing a probably a two gate build uh, I was waiting for a uh, fast expansion in this map because you know this map is uh, prot all lots of protos are going for uh, fast expansion because it suits better but there are two uh, places to pass uh, maybe he chose that because uh, he won't be able to make a perfect block I don't know I'm not too sure uh, I didn't play so much about this map but uh, Zerg is aware of that oh uh, I thought uh, it's a two gate, but uh, Protoss didn't choose that. Uh, maybe he's going for direct uh, core. Okay, we see a lag here. I hope he doesn't disconnect. Okay. Uh, while the game uh, continues, uh, I want to tell you about our clan. Uh, the Team Destiny with the old name Turkish Delights uh, created in August uh, 2008 uh, we did uh, lots of clan wars and we only lost two games you know uh, some of the clans I don't know which are they but uh, uh, I'm not pretty sure about that but we beat uh, pretty good clans uh, like GNSI uh, I don't know uh, lots of I can't remember them right now. I thought I wanted to say that before the video, but right now I can't remember it, so get on with it. Okay. Uh, one zealot push. Uh, he'll try to delay uh, the zerglings because, uh, as a PVZ, when you can go for core and direct uh, stargate for Sayer push, uh, uh, with Sayers you can scoot the player and. Uh, try to things to uh, get advantage of the game because while it's so good you know what your player is doing and with that uh, you can do pretty good job but the Taeyang is a really good player uh, I know I say that but uh, I want to mean that too uh, okay we see uh, one pool mm, I don't know too much about Zerg but I, I'll try to tell that uh, but I, wa I don't want to tell everything about the game because uh, the video watchers on YouTube uh, uh, know things about the game because you know about the basics uh, you know about the things you play this game for so many years so it doesn't really need it uh, we, we, we are just uh, recording this video for fun okay this is a pretty good job from Protoss as you all know he did it for scooting, he won't be able to do uh, damage or something like that, but this is good. Expansion is right now. Protoss aware of what he is doing, but uh, if, he, if he in some ways chooses for uh, fast layer right now, the Zerg, he may be going for a, I don't know, maybe Motalis. Uh, so Protoss should know that uh, and he will be aware of that I, I think because the Sayers will be a right good timing from Protoss the classical openings now but doesn't really matter I hope it will be a good game and we all entertain from that and I want to 
Oh my god. What is it trying to do? Will it make a hatchery here? I don't know. Oh my god. He may be trying for some gas trick. Okay, he is trying for some gas trick. He used the minerals to pass over the wall and Zillows are trying to take, but they are deformed. Uh, they can take the place. They should cover the place. Zerglings are trying to push in, but the drones are attacking too. I don't know what he can do. He brings the probes there. Pretty good job around here. This is a really important time for a game uh, for Protoss. But I think he may handle it because he has lots of probes and he did handle it. But also, uh, there's not so much to scoot. But Zerg can scoot right now. Uh, Protoss uh, did a good job with delaying it uh, without taking so much damage. Uh, but the Zerglings are uh, coming. I think Zerg trying will try to push more. But he lost uh, lots of drones. You know, lot drones are taking back. He lost lots of uh, time, mining time. I don't know what Zerg can do from now, from here, but uh, I think the Protoss is ahead right now, and he will take some overlords. And uh, Zerg has nothing. Uh, I mean, really nothing to overcome from this. He needs his drones. Okay, uh, he built the den right now. Uh, I think he won't be able to handle it without taking damage because uh, he is building another sayer as you know here this means he can kill the overlords faster and he will keep pushing and the overlords is 100 minerals you know this is really so much uh, as he doesn't have so much drones but uh, he collect uh, he turned back were good I think I wasn't waiting that the den is ready right now Mm, he's going for uh, some hydraulics to prevent from uh, Corsairs to kill his overlords. And uh, as you see here, the hatcher replacement is really good. Uh, it will prevent from Zelos or some kind of push to pass over. Uh, as you put some uh, sunken colonies here, it can make a pretty good damage. Uh, as a, in all matchups, the building placement uh, in some maps really matters, you know. This is really important. Okay, the uh, classical opening with temple archives is ready. The two gate. Uh, I w I want to say that I like this uh, opening really well because uh, as a Protoss player, sometimes uh, the fast opening, uh, fast expansion opening, may be pretty risky, you know, because uh, you have to make a perfect block, and in some maps uh, you won't be able to do that uh, perfectly as you may not be a uh, so good player with I don't know B level or B minus level you have to know about maps okay the sport colony is ready I thought uh, when he's going for then uh, he will try to kill the Corsairs or prevent him from taking any damage with hydraulics but he didn't do that I don't know what he's thinking right now the Koreans are pretty unpredictable sometimes but somehow uh, they be able to take the game but in this game you know with the Dark Templars and the Corsairs four Corsairs are going on this is really bad this is really harsh okay okay the Zerg know about the Dark Templars he knew about the Dark Templars that's why he put the spore colonies there I'm sorry for that I couldn't realize that but this is really important it's the two sunken colonies are getting ready up. Okay, the Corsairs are trying to push. Uh, the f uh, after all, there are four Corsairs. It will deal, do a good damage. And this is GG. The Nether Lot 1. Georgie 1. Thank you guys. See you next game.